That's right, I forgot. Copyright. That's right. Back it up, people. Fun police is here. Can't have fun. Nope, nope, no sorry. All jokes aside, though. Hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> welcome to a video. Um, first off, happy May the 4th be with you, or May the 4th. Uh, and also, happy, uh, you know, May 5th day as well to tomorrow, so, I hope you guys enjoy your lovely Star Wars celebrations for the next couple days, so, I hope everyone's enjoying their festivities. Um, so, I have kind of a, just, okay history with Star Wars. And let me explain that. See, I was not much of a Star Wars fan growing up. I really wasn't too interested in it. I liked everything Star Wars fine. I didn't hate really much of it. I didn't fall in love with Star Wars like a lot of people did. I just kind of just thought Star Wars was just okay. And it wasn't anything that I was, like, passionately interested in for the most part. I've got plenty of friends, plenty of other streamers, plenty of other content creators and folks that I interact and talk to that are absolutely in love with Star Wars. And this is their shining day. This is their beautiful day, right? But, I never had really much of a personal attachment with Star Wars growing up, or even to this day as an adult. So, and, uh, heck, even as a teen. So, I, I knew of Star Wars. I knew of the books, the spinoffs, the animated shows. The non-animated shows, the live-action movies, the not-so-great live-action movies, the really good live-action movies, and every sort of adaptation of Star Wars in between. I had friends that took me to Star Wars events, and I appreciate them for that. I got good friends. They wanted to share their love and passion and interest with me, and try and either get me hooked on it or at the very least, show off what they're excited about and why it means so much to them. And I appreciated that a lot. But I just couldn't get into Star Wars. Now, there's many reasons why to this. For one, I love sci-fi. I really do. But I'm kind of picky with my sci-fi. I don't like a lot of sci-fi that always treads on the same exact concept or the same exact premise or the same exact thing. And Star Wars, when it first came out, with all the movies and books and all the other stuff, was cool. But as time kind of evolved... Star Wars became a bit stagnant in terms of a lot of its content, wouldn't you say? A lot of it kind of falls into the same. Oh, there's, you know, there's the Rebels, and they go out and do, you know, point A to point B. There's the, you know, the dark side, 
and evil forces that are preventing the rebels from doing point A to point B. Uh, there's characters that have emotional attachment to uh, point A to point B, or a character from point A to point B. They fall in love with each other. They hate each other. There's the dark side, the light side. It's, to me, I just never found a lot of Star Wars stuff that entertaining. And not because it was bad. Not because a good chunk of it wasn't well written or scripted or, you know, the, the lack of quality from a product. That's not the issue. For the most part, Star Wars to me has always put out a quality product or a quality film, a quality comic, quality book, animated project. Heck, one of the few things that I actually really do love about Star Wars is a lot of their animated projects. Specifically, and this is the part that's going to be a little odd for people. I enjoy the original micro series that Genny Tarkovsky did of Star Wars The Clone Wars more than I did the CGI animated series that both Cartoon Network and Disney did. You know, before and after buyouts, mergers, contracts, all that. So, not that I don't think the CGI series is bad. It's got its good merits, and it's got some good stuff in it. But, to me, there's just kind of too much to, well, Chewbacca through. Ah, puns. But, um, and that's kind of the thing, is the micro series landed a little bit better with me. Because it was shorter, it got straight to the point, it still had a ton of action, plot, character, and at the time, it was canonical. You know, at the time of it being on TV. Plus, it was really well animated by one of the famous animation legends of all time. So, um, and you've known him probably from Symbiotic Titan, Primal, Dexter's Lab, Samurai Jack, so forth. But, here's the thing. I always thought the Star Wars movies were just alright as well, too. Never really hated any of them at all. Except for maybe one of the recent films in the last trilogy. You know, the recent trilogy. Which one that is, I'm not going to tell you, you know, because I'll start up a whole explosion of a debate on the internet. But I can tell you it's the one that most people don't like. And it's for a good reason. But overall, my feelings with Star Wars, they're just okay. Like, I've read the books and a lot of the, the novels and comics and stuff. Hell, I used to own a Star Wars uh, Loot Crate exclusive comic that I wound up actually giving to a friend because actually two of them. There was the regular one and then the Star Wars Adventures one. And funny enough, I gave those both to friends because I knew they would enjoy it more. I went and saw Last Jedi and Force Awakens and the other films in the recent trilogy uh at the time of this recording, in theaters, twice, with friends, because they loved Star Wars that much. I went out and supported their endeavors, and supported their passions, just like they would with mine. So, but, the reason why I make this video, is, because, even though I'm a bit more of just a casual fan, like very light casual fan of Star Wars, I'll still indulge in the holidays. I'll still indulge in the celebrations. And I want people to enjoy these things. Plain and simple. So, and I think it's kind of a nice reminder to 
tell people that on the internet that you can just casually enjoy things in a fan base and still pick apart at them for no reason because that's what the human experience is kind of partly about. But at the same time, too, look, if you're not a hardcore Star Wars fan, it's okay to just casually swing by and go through the notions with the fan base. So, and I think a gentle reminder of that on May the 4th is a good thing to understand. Plus, gonna be honest too, I grew up more liking, you know, Doctor Who, Torchwood, Star Trek, a lot of other different sci-fi related things, in my opinion, than I did Star Wars. Hell, I like a good chunk of BBC America and BBC related sci-fi. That's what I grew up on. So, and as far as what I feel about Doctor Who, well, that's a video for another day. So, I did like Torchwood though. My father was the one that got me more into Torchwood, and Torchwood was really cool. So, and as a little bonus side note about sci-fi, uh, not to go too off-tangent, but one of my favorite sci-fi shows of all time that was also a BBC show was Orphan Black. But that's a video for another day. So, yeah. I just figured I'd tell you guys, look, go celebrate May the 4th, and, you know, May the 5th, go celebrate your Star Wars holidays. Go enjoy. Go have fun. But I'm a very casual fan when it comes to Star Wars. That's really what it is. And it's funny because, well, <laughs> let's just say that... Hopefully, this doesn't get scrapped, and I would like for it to not get scrapped. I would like to actually make this particular episode, but let's just say that sometime in the future, in a galaxy far, far away, a certain box-related show might get a certain box-related episode of some kind. Maybe a special, perhaps? Who knows? But, regardless, who knows? The future, we don't know. We can't guarantee the future. We can only guarantee the present. Now it's a matter if I can gather a bunch of people together to talk Star Wars for a whole Crash Box episode. But, I mean, that's if my friends can coordinate, plan, are willing to actually, you know, watch this video. Y you know actually sit down for a, a, a certain casual conversation with a bandicoot, stuff like that. So, and I'm not saying, I'm not against the idea of doing a Star Wars episode. I want to do a Star Wars episode. But, I want it to be with people who are passionate about Star Wars. Because I'm a very casual fan. So, for me to make a crash box about Star Wars would have to involve people who are passionate enough about Star Wars to do segments about Star Wars. Get what I'm saying? So, anyhow, this video is almost like 14 minutes long. So, I just wanted to release something real quick in all of the holiday. Um, and, uh, may the 4th be with you guys, and the 5th. As for me, I've got stuff to do today. So, till next time, guys, you all have a good time. And uh, try not to make too many Star Wars cheesy puns on Twitter, please. Later.